posted on YouTube before. This is my hydroponic blackberry. Nobody on YouTube seems to have a hydroponic blackberry plant set up, so I wanted to show that it is actually possible, and you can see how healthy it is. I mean, the leaves and the new growth is just phenomenal. I actually, there's a little lizard right there. I guess this is his home now. I actually bought this plant from Walmart. It was my second one, and the first one actually burned really bad with too much fertilizer in the hydroponic bucket. So, just so you guys know, more is not necessarily better because it has nowhere to go, obviously, and it'll burn the roots, especially when they're new. Now, if you look over here, I don't know how old this berry bush is supposed to be, but as far as research goes, it looks like two-year canes actually produce blackberries. And like I said, I bought this from Walmart, so it was way, way smaller. Here is a blackberry. And it's actually a really good size one. It's almost ripe. It's only got two little red bumps on it left. So I'm pretty happy that I've gotten even one piece of fruit out of it. But this is just my little project here. And so you guys know the temperature in the garage and all that. It's 89.2 degrees with 45% humidity. And obviously it fluctuates during the day. The high was 101. And this bush is just doing great. I've obviously got two lights on it. In reference to the uh, multi-spectrum. And then I've got a T5 grow lamp. I was also growing some other stuff in here as well in reference to blueberries and tomatoes, but the blackberry just took off. Tomatoes can't do well and pollinate in this kind of heat. But anyways, the whole point of this video was because I have not seen one single video on YouTube yet showing anything about blackberries being able to be grown in hydroponic systems and how to do it, so it's just a basic overview. It's just a little deep water culture system made by Active Aqua. And then I got a, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Vivuzin pump, just like a $30, $40 pump, and it works great. Been growing this for probably the last four months, and like I said, it went from a scrawny little thing to a full-blown amazing bush. And this is a Navajo blackberry, by the way. Also, to be noted, I used the Fora Grow stuff on it as well and then I've also used um, just powdered forms of hydroponic fertilizer and the Fora Grow I used about halfway through and now since you know Fora Grow is actually pretty expensive I've been using the powdered stuff and it's still been working fine and I've been adding some Epsom salt since we're getting towards the obviously we're in the ripening stage of the berry so hopefully that'll make it sweet see if I can zoom in here some so you guys can see but that's actually a pretty good size blackberry all right if you guys have any questions or anything like that leave it in the comments like I said my first video and I'm doing it on my cell phone so just hope this helps anybody who's thinking about growing blackberries in their garage because it is possible even under extreme heat you just got to make sure that you're replenishing the water reservoir. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.